Hello there, I am Giant Quote with more Pokemon Ruby video. In the last part, we finished, we battled May on uh, the route below Cycling Road, and then we made it to Marvel City. We uh, got the Aqua Bike, we got the HM06 for the Rock Smash, we got the Coin Case, when we uh, exchanged uh, with the person who wanted our Harbor Mail, they had the Coin Case. We, uh, we battled some trainers uh, east of uh, Marvel City, and we also checked out the game corner and we also battled Wally for the first time. So yeah. I have uh I have Metroid at front as you can see right here. So let's take on this full family of uh trainers, I guess, because I guess they're family that have Pokemon that battle you. Let's go with that. Hello, I, I take it you're a traveler. How's this? What do you say of to taking on our family of four in a series of Pokemon battles? Sure, why not? That's the spirit I like you. Okay. Let's go. Let's battle. Let's have a fun time. Here's a Pokey fan. Or no, uh, Winston Victor. Okay, uh, it was just, his, uh, his sprite just looked like a Poke fan or something, or, I don't know. Okay, let's go for the acid on this, uh, tail that's level 16. Uh, it does about one third. It lowers its defense, so that's good. So there's a wing attack on us. Yeah, okay. That's not too bad though, it didn't do too much damage on uh, Metroid, so yeah, there we go, and then the tail fence, awesome. Six Zagoon, okay, we'll stay in. This Six Zagoon is level 16 as well, okay, cool, let's go for the acid then. Sand attack, oh man, you're gonna lower Metroid's accuracy, man, that's not cool. It's not cool at all. All the acid still hits, that's good. Okay, cool, let's go sand attack again. It's gonna use an orange barrier to store its HP, okay. I see how it is. So that means acid will not uh faint it now. And the fact that sand attack keeps on happening. Okay, nice. It hits the time. Yeah, dang it. Okay, we're gonna help you finish it off with a poison sting. Come on, Metroid, you can do this. Poison sting hits awesome, nice. There we go. Yeah, we defeated, uh, Victor. <laughs> I, you're a lot tougher than I expected. Thanks, thanks for the intro to my Poké Dollars, too. Nice. Hey, y'all, I found a pretty strong trainer. That was, the, that was the dad of the family. Now this is the mom, I believe. Okay, oh my goodness, are you young? Uh, you must be quite the trainer to beat my husband, though. It's my turn to battle now. Okay. What do you say, man? What do you say? Victoria, okay, cool. She has a Roselia, okay, cool. That's nice. It's level 17 and female, okay, let's try to take it out. Do sun support, but I miss, good. I don't want my Metroid to get paralyzed. I don't want it to get paralyzed. Okay, yeah. Uh, use Growth Lord to raise its special attack. That's fine by me. Oh my gosh, all these all these Pokemon have horn barriers, you know? Let's get front of the acid then. Now this acid probably won't faint unless it's critical hit, and it's not. And you still get off a stun spore. Ay ay ay. Let's go for the poison sting, I guess. Because Mega Drain, okay. Liquid Ooze will come into effect with this. Yeah, there we go. There we go, there's all it goes down, awesome. Nice. There's a strength trainer, I'm really, really strong, okay. Yeah, nice. Strength of the mummy, wow, but I'm st strong too, really honestly. Okay, whatever you say, I guess I'm gonna have to take your word for it. This is Lass, or, uh, it looks like a Lass spray, okay, yeah. Vivi, I don't think that's how you pronounce her name. There's a male, okay, cool. I'm gonna switch out to, uh, I'm gonna switch out to, I'll switch out to Geico, I guess. Well, that would that would have been bad if it hit. Let's go for the bullet seed then. This man was level 15 in female. If I didn't already say that. Oh, this should faint it though. I'm hoping. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Hit three times. Awesome. Because the marrow. No more. Okay. Uh, we'll go back to Metroid. I'm doing the little switcheroo trick though. You know. <laughs>
Okay, I'll switch to um, Vida, I guess. Okay, nice. Okay, let's go for the fake out, I guess. Yeah, more flinched. Awesome, nice. Let's go for the vital throw. Vital throw. Growl is gonna lower if I just attack stat by one stage, but hopefully we can still knock this thing out. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. And the West is a shroomish. Okay, I'll stay in. Aw, oh, dang it, I failed. Okay, I thought I could use every, t every new Pokemon that came out, but I guess not. That's okay, though. Arm oh, I mean, Arm Thrust, is it not effective on a po pure poison or pure grass type? I think it's still effective. It's neutral effective. It should be. Static. Oh, effects boy, dang it. Okay, yeah, since Guts is kicking in, because it's just. Since Fighter has a, a st uh, ability, um, Guts sub attacks its suffering, so yeah. Because it has a status conditioning. Status condition. It, like, boosts and attacks, so that probably helps with the uh, Shumash. Hopefully, yeah. Okay, how did I how did I just lose? I guess I'm better than you, I'm sorry. Thanks for the injured poker always, though. This stinks. Sniffle Grandma. Oh no, the grandma's- okay, that was the daughter of the family, but this is now the grandma of the family, apparently. How do you make my granddaughter cry? For that, I'm gonna smack you, prepare to lose. I think she just has one Pokemon, which is a Meditar, I think it's like over 17 or 18, I think it's 18. If I were to guess, just one Pokemon, it's a Meditar at level 18, awesome. My memory, my memory serves me correct, that's good. So let's go to, um, let's go to Geico on this one. Here we go, nice. Let's go for the pursuit. It'll be neutral effective. Just meditate, okay? It's gonna raise its attack, which we want. We don't. We don't want to let it get too many of those up. High jump kick. Oh no! Can okay, I go for the bolt seed? Hit three times. Hit three times. Hit, oh dang it! Well, Gekko's probably gonna go down. Which kind of stinks. Okay, yeah, let's go to... Let's go to Metroid, I guess. Let's go for the Poison Sting. High Jump Kick, oh no. Come on, it's not very effective and you're still fainted. Metroid, you're sweeping through my team. My oh, jeez. I always can't move. Dang it. Okay, fine. I don't think I can just fake out again then. This is bad because, uh, I have three normal types left. This is real bad. Let's go for the cut. So, where we had to save our butt again. <laughs> okay. That's okay, though. <laughs> okay. Okay, whatever. Come on. Qua, you are strong. My granddaughter was right. Thanks for the hundred sixty-four dollars. Thanks for the compliment. If you're not in any hurry, visit us a while. Okay, I'll take my time and talk to each four, every, all four of you. I guess. Yeah, you're the first trainer I've seen who deployed Pokemon so masterfully. But I should tell you, my son is stronger than you. He even took the Pokemon League challenge. I have you know. Interesting. There's no question that you're strong. But if you were to battle my grandson, he, you would end up crying you'd end up crying in frustration. He's much stronger than any trainer our family knows. You must challenge the Pokemon League champion by now. Knowing my grandson, he could be the champion already. And if you're wondering who is they referencing to, is it's they mean Steven, the Pokemon League champion in, in uh, Ruby and Sapphire and, and Emerald, it's a Wallace that's the champion of the Elite Four. So yeah, they talk they talk about Steven. Yeah. Not me, but uh, Steven, the one who spells his name with a V, that we met in uh, Granite Cave a couple, like maybe like four or five parts ago, I'd say. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you, we use uh, this Macho Brace to more. We use this Macho Brace to more effectively strengthen our Pokemon in training. Since you're beaten our type, I don't know if you need it, but we would like you to have our Macho Brace. Thanks. That's very nice of you. Yeah. Okay, um, mommy's stronger than daddy, I'm stronger than mommy, my grandma's stronger than me, 
And my big brother is even stronger than grandma. Interesting. They're talking about Stephen again, by the way. <laughs> Stephen Stone. I think his last name is Stephen Stone. His last name is Stone. There we go. So his name is Stephen Stone, I'm pretty sure. So what does the Macho Burst do again? I always forget. Uh, let's see here. Hold on, I'm not... Promotes growth, but reduces speed. Do I want to give that to anyone? I don't think I really want to give that to anyone on my team yet. I mean, uh, maybe later. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to heal up at the Pokemon Center, so I'll see you guys in a second. So what I ended up doing was I put the Macho Brace in uh, the my PC, so it's in storage, yeah. Also, before we take on Route 17, I want to take on the gym now, actually, because if we go to west of a... Uh, my we reach Route 117, and then we'll also reach Verdant Turf Town west of that route. But I want to actually take on the gym so we have the gym badge so we can use Rock Smash outside battle because I don't want to backtrack for later on. So I'm going to take on the gym now, I guess. So let's start with the Rice Giver. How's it going, Champion Bound Steven? Uh, Watson, the leader of, of Montville Gym, uses gra grass, no, uses electric type Pokemon. If you challenge him with water type Pokemon, he heals up them. Bzz. And he'll put a switch, he put in switch control doors all over his gym, eccentric. He, hey, go for it. Yeah, um, Marvel City Pokemon Gym. Yeah, I forgot to do the sign outside the gym, my bad. So let's do that real quick. Marvel City Pokemon Gym Leader Watson, the cheerful, electrifying man. That's awesome. So let's go back in. And this puzzle isn't too hard, I just want to battle the trainers first. I'm actually going to just lead off with a water type, so... Hopefully that doesn't hurt me too much, you know. My trick soul, sh it'll shadow you, dreams whole. Whoa, yeah. You sound pretty excited. Did you drink some Red Bull or something, you guitarist? Okay, so I checks level 18, cool. Let's go for the acid. Here's Howl, okay. That's fine by me. This Electrix is going to be pretty fun to defeat, I guess. <laughs> His defense was lowered again, or maybe just for the first time. I wasn't really paying attention. Now he's going to lower Metroid's defense and ask his quick attack. Just to get a free hit before it faints, basically. Yeah. A Magnemite. Okay, I'll switch to, um, switch to Fire, I guess. Let's go for the arm thrust. Use thunder shock. Jeez. Let's hope that it doesn't pearls. No, I decided to jinx it. Jeez. Okay, whatever. Well, it's got its ability. We'll cut in. We'll kick in now. So that's good. There goes the magnemite. He's a youngster. I think he has a Zigzagoon, not even a hundred type Pokemon. This gym, this gym's got puzzles. Isn't it fun? Well, you have to basically press on two switches and then you're done. But I want to battle the trainers first before I do the puzzle. So I guess it's fun. It's fun and easy. Yeah, you have a Zigzagoon level 19. Cool. Let's go for the acid, I guess. I really want Metroid to learn Bubble Beam Sync because I think that's the first water type I would actually learn. But that's probably not till like a level 24, 25 if I'm, if I'm to guess right now. What level he, uh, my Metroid will learn, uh, you know, uh, Thunderbolt, wow. D no, learn, um, Bubble Beams, I mean, but like, Thunderbolt, wow, jeez. That's six ago, no, it's Thunderbolt, wow. There we go, nice. Gangster Band, awesome, okay. It's not fun to lose. Thanks for 304 pocket dollars. Oh, he has an item. Cool, super potion, awesome. Let's play Geico up front. Oh, he has four trainers in this gym, okay. I trained under Watson, there ain't no way I'd lose easily. Okay. That's good to know. Let's go for the Bolt Seed. This Voltorb is level 17. 
Yeah. Let's just hope for the best. Did three times awesome. It's just Sonic Boom, okay. We'll use Absorb to hopefully uh, restore some HP too. Okay, nice. Voltorb again, okay. Another Voltorb, I should say. This one's level 17 as well. Let's go for the Bullet Seed. Hit five times. Hit five times. Hit five times. It's hit four times so far. Okay, yeah. Uh, Sonic Boom, okay. Pursuit, I guess. Next. Do Sonic Boom again. Jeez, okay. Let's go finish off with the Quick Attack. Nice. I'm gonna stay in, but switch out uh, Geico. And go to um, Fighter, I guess. Break out, yeah, get free hit. Nice, okay. Let's go for Arm Thrust then. I hit two times, of course, it's still. Let's go with the Rock Tomb then. Priorize, dang it. Okay. Rock Tomb, it missed, of course, it did. Use charge, jeez. This Voltorb is really annoying. It just doesn't faint it yet, honestly, you know? But whatever. Okay, so. I think I want to use a Super Potion on, uh, on, uh, Geico. There's one more trainer in here. With your charm, my body, my Pokemon's moves, you'll be shocked. I think I missed maybe that dialogue a little bit, but I don't know. Step my tide, okay, cool. Pursuit is a bit neutral effect, at least. Yeah, there we go. I did a fair amount. Thunder Punch, you don't know. Well, it's not very effective on Geico. That's good. Hopefully one more one more um pursuit should do it. There we go, nice. And guy could be level 23, awesome. Get control and screech. Yeah, I'm not gonna let guy cover and screech. I'm not for, I'm not I don't really like the move screech. Well it's a good move, but like I don't really prefer to use it on guy because it's not one of his final moves. It's moveset. Yeah. I'm shocked by your power. Thanks, man. Thanks. Thanks for the 456 poker dollars too. So, let's switch that with that, and we'll give a super potion to, I don't think we have to go back to the Pokemon Center or anything, let's give a super potion to Fighter, let's give a super potion to uh, Metroid, and we'll give a potion to uh, Geico, there we go, nice. Now the reason why I'm keeping uh, not healing uh, Fighter's uh, paralysis is because, you know, it's ability, got if it, if it has a status conditioning, it, um, it does, it like ups its attack, so that's awesome. So yeah, I'm gonna lead off with a uh, fighter too. So yeah, I think the, the thing we have to do is, I think we step on this switch right here. And then uh, step on this switch. Oh, fail, I already I messed it up. Okay, maybe just switch, the, maybe these three switches, like in this order, one, two, three. There you go. And then you magically get to Watson. That's better than checking all, like, possibly all the trash cans and the, the Moon City Pokemon Gym back in Generation 1 and Generation 3 for Fire and Leaf Green. So yeah, let's talk to Watson. I've given up, I've given up, I've given up, up, given up all my plans to renovate the city, to convert the city I have. And so, I put this, my time into making door traps in my gym. Oh, now, what are you doing here? What's that? You've gotten through past all my rigged doors? I just had to, I just had to hit three switches. And I think if you, you can do it, if you do it correctly, you can actually get through to the gym later, Watson, and two, by, just, by just pressing two of them. So yeah, 
Wow, now that's amazing. Then I, Watson, the leader of the Marvel Gym, shall electrify you. We'll see about that. Here is Watson. He's the third gym leader of Hoenn. Nice. Some stuff with his magnet. Okay, cool. Let's go for the arm thrust. I could have gone for the fake out, though. I could have gone for the fake out, man. Wait, that already did half? Oh, it fainted it. Nice. That. Okay, it's, oh, it's level 22 already. Jeez, okay. Okay, nice. Switch out to, um. Geico, I guess. Let's go for the bolt yet, I guess. Let's get a spark, okay. That's cool, I guess. Bolt seed hits, awesome. This bolt is level 20. That magnemite that we just previously battled is level 22. So, yeah. Hit five times, hit five times, hit five times. Oh, it hit five times, awesome. Pursuit, I guess. Let's get self destruct, geez. Okay, fine. Take out, you took out Geico. Set it up, Metroid next. Let's go for the supersonic. Yeah, it's confused. Awesome, nice. So 23, okay, cool. This, ma this magneton is level 23, I should say. So it's confused, what hit? Self confusion? Let's get Thunder Wave, of course. Of course, man. That's cool. That's good for you. Oh, well, it's half steel type, so like, the only effective move is like Constrict. Because uh, poison damage don't affect uh, steel type Pokemon at all. And magneton and magnemite are just. Electric steel type in this game, in third generation. In generation one, they're just electric type. But yeah, it's different in third generation, obviously. So yeah, this guy kind of stinks. Hit yourself in confusion. Yes, nice. I'm gonna wither away at, at its health, hopefully. Or Metroid will. Let's do this. Okay, hit self confusion. Awesome. Uh, but, but Metroid's paralyzed. I want to get off Constrict again. Snap the confusion. That's not good. Oh, uh, Shockwave's gonna hurt. It's probably fainting Metroid. Okay, this is not good. Okay, so my best bet is to heal, uh, Fighter. Uh, cause I don't want Fighter to be slower than this Magneton, because that could be bad. So I'm gonna send it at 1. Just a little decoy. So I'm gonna use Bag. Um, I guess we can use a full Restore. I mean, we have 8. So, uh, why not use it? Nice. Okay. Okay, yeah. That's cool. Shockwave, yeah, fun, 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 fun. One fainted, <laughs> Let's go back to Fighter then. My Makuhita. And let's go for the fake out, I guess. Can fake out still work? Yes, awesome, it does. It's gonna be very effective, but it's still fun. It's every little bit counts, I guess. So that's good. Let's go for the um, vital thrill. Oh man, that's that's thing. That's the price of going second. Guaranteed going, guaranteeing going second. It's like he got a supersonic off fighter. But then I think the magneton may have outspread fighter anyway. But you never know. Let's go for another vital thrill. He's gonna get a super potion. Of course he is. Jeez. It's not that confusion. Awesome. We can still do this. If you started with Mudkip, it should be a Mud Stomp by now, hopefully, um, and you can just Mud Shot the, all of these Pokemon. And because you know, Mudkip is a uh, Mud Stomp is a Water Ground type, so that means that it, which moves will not affect it at all because it's half Ground type. But if you started with um, Torchic, I think that's the second easiest because you'd have Combusken hopefully by now, and you can just use Double Kick and Ember, and you know, Fire type moves and Fire type moves are super effective against Magnetons. Um, and it has a Magneton and Magnemite, but now it has a uh, Voltorb because Voltorb is a pure um, electric type. So Sonic Boom hits, okay. But yeah, hopefully this will finish it off. I'm hoping it does. Awesome. But yeah, if you try a Trico like me, you should have a Grove by now. And But it's like the hardest. So get a Pokemon like uh, Makita that's uh, you know, a fighting type move, like Vital Throw or Arm Thrust. 
and to counter with um, the magnetite, the, the magnemite, and the magneton that Watson has. So it's not too hard, but I'm just um, prepared, I guess, and I know what I'm doing. I'm experienced because I played this game a big, at least a handful of times. So yeah, wahaha, fine, I lost. You ended up giving me a thrill. Take this badge. Thanks for the 2300 pocket dollars and the dynamo badge. Yeah, the dynamo badge, yay. With the dynamo badge, Pokemon can, you, Pokemon can use Rock Smash outside of, out of battle. Okay, and it'll make up make your Pokemon a little bit faster too. Does it really do that? I'm not even sure. Probably not. Hmm, we should take this too. We get the TM34, which is Shockwave. Which, I'm looking at my final movesets for my Pokemon. You want to see it just the name of my Pokemon? Yeah, I do actually, but that's not going to be through what. It's a Pokemon I haven't caught yet, to say the least. Okay. Yeah, nice. Can Shockwave, which trust away the move that never misses. You can count on it, that's awesome. And as you see, all the electrical uh, fields and walls are gone now. So yeah, Marvel City Pokemon Gym. So what's what's the certified trainer, Steven? Awesome. And yeah, whoa, you're you're electrifying. You powered the world open. Thanks. And if you look at our trainer card, actually, um, we can see that the nine bar badge looks like um looks like a pan with two handles. Honestly, you know, like a frying pan with two handles. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Oh, one picked up an item. Awesome. Oh, yeah, awesome. So I'm gonna back to the Pokemon Center here real quick, so I'll be right back. Okay, right back here. Let me see my Pokemon levels. Okay, I'll switch um, Metroid and uh, Fido, I guess. So, yeah. Let's go over here next. And here's the Pokemon Daycare. You can talk to the lady right here. She will ask if um, you want to raise a Pokemon for you, or they want to raise a Pokemon. If you want them to raise a Pokemon for you, uh, I have a do not want any more Pokemon to raise because I don't want to use the service. Except for maybe like if I got really deep in the game, I'd do like for breeding if I'd do like a Ditto or something. I don't know. I think you can, you know, raise up to two Pokemon. Pokemon Daycare, let's uh, raise your Pokemon. Okay, yeah. And here's the husband of the uh, old elder that we just talked to. I am the daycare man. I help take care of precious Pokemon of trainers. If you'd like me to raise your Pokemon, I have a word with my wife. Okay. So here's some Pomeg Berries. I think those are Pomeg Berries, which is what I was trying to uh, discover. Or, um, trying to... I, I remember like in a previous part that I thought the Pomeg Berries were, actually, were there on a certain... Like I think it was south of the Marvel actually, but north of the uh, road that goes under Cycling Road. The route that goes into second road, but um, I think those are the right berries, the pomeg berries. So we have a double battle coming up. So I have fighter in my second slot to take him on. Meg says, um, I'm going to ta t tag up with my super senior student partner and beat you. Hopefully, I read that right. I don't think I did completely, but I tried my best. Six again, Makita. Cool. Let's go for the let's go for the acid on both of them, I guess, and then use uh, arm thrust on the Zigzagoon. Nice. The Zigzagoon is level 16, and the Makita is level 7, 18. So that's cool. Arm thrust hits on the Zigzagoon. That's nice. Should take out the Zigzagoon. Nice. Okay. Just tackle on Metroid, okay? Let's go for the acid on the Makita and the arm thrust on the um, Makita as well. Okay, always well, the defense, so that's good for a fighter. This guy coming with arm thrust, awesome, it hits. And it takes only one of the five potential uh, times of hitting to, to weaken it down, yeah. Nice. We've been senior, junior, Meg, and Anna. Okay, oh no, I'm sorry, Anna, I let you down. Don't feel too bad. Thanks for the fun, just for Poké Dollars. Put up a good fight. And... Yeah, okay. Let's get this item from uh, Larry, which is another Super Potion. Awesome. Here's Pomeg Berries, am I right? Nope, they're Weeper Berries. I can't even identify my berries anymore, really. Wow. I know what the Citrus Berry and Orange Berries look like, but in Cherry Berries and Ross Berries and stuff like that, but... Not all the berries I memorized just by looking at them and can tell what they are. <laughs> Apparently not. This will give us nine of these we we pear berries or whatever they're called. We we pear berries. We pear. I don't know. 
Probably pronouncing it wrong still. Okay, so... Okay, so I'm thinking I'm going to end the part right here. This has been my Pokemon review. We do walk the part. Next part, we'll take on more of this route, which is um, Route 117, right? Let me just double check. Yeah, 117. Route 117. Cool. Okay, so yeah, so this is Draco again. I would like to thank you for goodbye, and I hope to see you guys next part of my Pokemon Ruby Redo Walkthrough Guide.